All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to go into the draft with our Vancouver Canucks, the year three draft. And you know what, the draft, the uh, trade deadline this year, we already pretty much had a draft when we got Seth Jones and uh, Sam Reinhart, and we've already drafted pretty good in the first two years. We have a lot of good prospects now going forward, but, uh, you know, namely Connor McDavid, the big prospect in this year's draft. I know you guys want me to go after him, so we're going to have to see if it's a possibility, and um, if not, you know, there is another player out there that Billy Mackey guy, and there's three other snipers. So it is a, uh, a fairly deep draft when it comes to if you have a top five pick. And the way it looks right now is we should have a top five pick. I'll show you guys. Um, basically, I just figured out this uh, recently, how you can check your top five picks or uh, your draft picks while you're here. You know, you can't bring up the, uh, the trade, so you can't see what your drafts are. You can uh, go to trading block and uh, do it from here, right? You can go to uh, players on the block, click one, and then go all the way to the top. I know it's kind of out of the way, but I actually just realized this the other day. So we have Winnipeg, Chicago, and our pick for this year, okay? So we have three, and it's Winnipeg, Chicago, and our pick. So, Winnipeg and Chicago both uh, made it into the playoffs. So, I don't think uh, they're going to be the greatest picks. And we should be top five, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So, we're getting one of those snipers at least. So, that is good. But the question is, do we need another sniper? I know we already have Jonathan Drouin. Um, but do we need another sniper going forward? We have Nicholas Jensen as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, we got to decide if we are going to make that trade for Connor McDavid. Um, do we have space for him? You know, who are we going to trade for him? So let's go up and down through our roster here and uh, really decide what we're going to go forward with. You know what I mean? This is the year where we do the rebuild. So year four could be a shitty year as well. I'm fine with that. We're going to play our rookies now. Uh, so Eddie Lack dropped to an 83 and Clint Windsor jumped to an 83. So now we have, again, again we can still go forward with these two guys. Um, we have one more year with Clint Windsor being on his minor league deal. So you keep him for at least another year, Eddie Lack that is. And if you can't afford him, then you trade him away this uh, next year, okay? Eddie Lack won't drop uh, below an 83, so we'll still be able to trade him away uh, for 4.45 mil, okay? But uh, Clint Windsor, now he's an 83. Is he listed as a starting goalie? Yeah, he's listed as a starting goalie now. So we can get away with him playing on the NHL uh, team this year, okay? So that'll be good. Uh, defenseman, Edler and Hamus still 88 overall. Remember, Hamus is still only 32 years old, so he's got another good three years in him, all right? But still, his trade value drops when he turns like 33 or 34 years old. All right, he's then um, thought of as a veteran player, then a uh, in-his-prime type player, okay? So um, he'd be a great player to trade before we have to sign him to a new deal. 4.3 for an 88 overall top two defenseman, that would be great trade value. So I just, I need to think about that. Tanev is a good top four right now. BX has got to go. We got to trade BX. 82 overall. He's getting worse. We got to trade BX, okay? Uh, might not get a lot back for him, but we can still trade him. Jocelyn, nothing too special. Murphy, all right. So he's slowly going, uh, growing. That's good. Uh, Pulock is still only 65 overall, so he is taking his time. Seth Jones only jumped to a 62, so uh, these guys are still taking their time to get better. But we can still play him on the NHL team this year, have another bad year, and uh, get them better and uh I, I don't know we got to make that decision right is it better to play in the a a AHL or the NHL this year we got to decide uh Jordan Subban yeah 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 all right that's basically it for defenseman hang on a second ah yeah that's much better all right Weiss is still an 83 Zach Cassian. Ooh, Zach Cassian jumped up to an 81. What was he last year? Like 78 or something? Yeah, he jumped up to an 81, so he's a second line forward now. It's actually not bad. Yeah, he got a little bit better. He's a good body checker who can actually... He's a decent shot. His offensive awareness jumped to 87. All right, Zach Cassian. Not bad. That's actually a pretty good jump for him. He still has two more years of getting uh, better as well. So if he jumps up to an 82, 83, I mean, that's that's better than what I thought. You know, if I thought I had a career fourth or third liner, and he's now listed as a second liner. So that's decent. Yannick Hansen, 79. Uh, Nicholas Jensen, so he's still growing, but he, now he's a 71. So he's getting up there, and Joshua Hosang is still down there at 54. So he's going to take a while to get better, all right? Uh, left winger, so Daniel Sedin is still a 91 overall. Thank God. Uh, Booth, 83, all right, but Booth's contract is up this year, so we can renegotiate. Gerby is 85 overall, so that's still good for him. 
Uh, Mantha is still 63, so he's taking a while to get better. All right, uh, Druin. Okay, so there you go. Druin has now jumped to an 84. So no doubt about it, Druin is NHL ready this year. Look at that shot. 88, 94, 90, 93. This guy is a 35 goal scorer now for sure. All right, he's got great deking. Offensive awareness is 92. His defensive awareness is actually 93, so he can actually handle it defensively now. So, you know, now when you're looking at it, that Sedin twins with, uh, what's his name, Jonathan Druin, actually might be a pretty good line now. So we got to make that decision, right? Uh, centers, yeah, Henrik Sedin is still 90 overall as well. All right, so that's a pretty filthy first line. Ryan Kessler dropped to an 86, all right. Schrader, look at Schrader. Schrader jumped to an 81 now, so Schrader should be NHL ready. So that's another good uh, young prospect. Uh, Sam Reinhardt jumped to a 74, so uh, he's a bit better than uh, Seth Jones so far. So another year or two for Sam Reinhardt. I say two years for sure. All right, uh, gone to 66. All right, so we have a bunch of our young prospects, but they're still not ready to be a playoff team just yet. You know what I mean? Um, like, so by keeping the Sedin twins, yeah, you can keep them. And Jonathan Drouin is ready this year, but Mantha, Pulock, Sam Reinhart, and uh, Seth Jones are all not ready to play this year. So if we're going to play them on the NHL team, we're not going to be a good team. If we're going to keep the Sedin twins, then we need to find other players to play instead of these guys. You know what I mean? There's no point in having the Sedin twins and not making the playoffs. If you don't make the playoffs, then you trade away the Sedin twins so that you can make the playoffs in two or three years. Um, so... Yeah, I'm still in a pickle here. Okay, so, you know what? We're just going to go into the draft here. I know what you guys want. It's Connor McDavid. You know what? Hang on one more one more second here. Uh, does Connor McDavid fit into the forwards that I have already? Let me just see here. Forwards going forward. Uh, Sam, Reinhardt, Mantha, and Drew in. All right, so you already have three of these guys, right? But Mantha, I, I'd assume that um, Connor McDavid may even get better than Mantha. Uh, quicker because I think Connor McDavid might be better than 60 overall. I might he might be he might be different in this one. I don't know. All right. Other than that, Jensen he could be ready soon. Uh, Cassian yeah we could use Connor McDavid. Yeah you could. Yeah four is not bad either. It's three or four. You don't want five because then it's three and two. But uh, four is not bad because then you can have two and two. You know what I mean? Two guys on one line, two guys on the second line. Um, same thing with the power play. You can split it up. Uh, so forward, you could go, uh, I don't know, like uh, uh, Sam Reinhardt and Druin and then McDavid and Mantha. You know what I mean? Or uh, McDavid and Druin and Sam Reinhardt and Mantha. You can split it up like that. Um, yeah, okay, so I might want to do that. Yeah, okay, so Connor McDavid definitely fits in. Now, what about those other top five snipers? Do they fit in? They would kind of turn out to be a Nicholas Jensen type players, it looks like. So, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say no to another sniper. I know I have Drew in. Jensen is more of a iffy type to me. He still has more to prove, I think. I don't necessarily think he looks like he could be good, but uh, snipers, I like snipers. I like snipers for forwards. Um I'm just trying to think, do I try to make that trade straight out or do I move up with top five to one? That's what I got to figure it out. All right, let's just go into the draft and see what's available, all right? You guys obviously want me to try and go after Connor McDavid. He fits into the team. It's not like he will take ice time away from another superstar that we have, all right? So we do have the top five pick. It's not like another team came in there. The Phoenix Coyotes have the first overall pick. The uh, New Jersey Devils have the second overall pick. We really don't need... Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think. Okay. I mean, imagine we got McDavid and the number five. That would be nice. But then are you getting into overkill with forwards then? You know what I mean? I'm just trying to think about that. Uh, 20 and 24, I might as well draft with. Those are uh, depth players. I can get two-way forwards and defensemen with that. Um, yeah, okay. So the Phoenix Coyotes and the New Jersey Devils. All right, if I can't get Connor McDavid at number one, if, if Phoenix will not trade their uh, pick, then it's just not going to happen. Then I will go for number two for that Billy Mackey guy, okay? Uh, now they want, ooh, look at this. Philadelphia wants to give away their first round pick in next year's draft, I think. Yeah, and they have the fourth overall pick this year. So they could be a bad team again next year for Kevin Bieksa. I couldn't ask for more. I thought Bieksa, you wouldn't get a lot for him. Remember, he, he dropped to an 82 overall now. I, you know what, guys? I got to say yes to that. I, it's not a pick for this year, but I have other phones that I can still trade. Um... And there's other players that I could trade with Phoenix to move. You know what? 
You know what? I'll say no to it right now. All right, and we will come back because let us just see if Phoenix wants Bieksa. Because if Phoenix wants Bieksa, I can use that for the uh, the first pick. All right. Now, okay, big problem. They don't want to give up their first overall pick. All right. So right immediately, that's a big problem. New Jersey wants to give up their second overall pick. Now I know you guys want Connor McDavid, right? But uh, this is just facts here. That's a big. That's a big. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Let me just see New Jersey. Do they have salary cap? Okay, New Jersey's only got five million to work with. Uh, Phoenix has eleven mil, so you're definitely able to give Phoenix some uh, uh, some picks here. Now I can definitely move up with the five, right? I can move up with the five. Now hang on. If I don't want to use that five, I can use twenty and twenty-four. All right. Let me just think. Now players I can give away. I can give up uh, Kusino. Yeah, I can give up Kusino. I wouldn't mind doing that if I had to either. He's only a backup for us. And if anything, like, he's only a backup. No, he's only a backup. Yeah, he's a good backup, don't get me wrong, but uh, he's only a backup for us. I wouldn't mind trading him if I have to. Uh, he's a player that they want. Yeah, and it would go through. I don't need to get a goalie coming back the other way. All right, so that's not bad. All right, and Skater's matching the block. Druin, no. Seth Jones, no. Kessler, uh, he's only 86 overall now, boys. Let's see. Would that go through? And they would take that, all right? So, I mean, you're giving up Ryan Kessler. That's a big one. Again, look at his individual stats. He's only 30 years old. He's 86 overall, but, again, if he had a good season, he'd jump back up to 87 or 88, right? He's still great defensively. He's still great face-off. Nah, 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 nah. He, I, I, I just, <laughs> I wouldn't mind trading him, but that's a big piece. That is a big piece. Zach Cassian I could trade now, but I actually like him. I want to see what he does on the second line now. Schrader, same thing, I want to see. Pulock, no. Gerby, trade away Gerby. Gerby, I don't really see being part of our team going forward. He's good right now, but, uh, uh Wies, Tanev, no, BX. They do want BX, so, ooh, they want BX, so. They could take BX. Kusino first, first. You know what? That is a lot that they want. Now, hang on. Is there anything else I can offer back? Uh, Murphy. No. Subban. No. Hansen. All right. So, hang on. Murphy or Subban? Let me just check out my defensive prospects here. I got Hamus and Edler. Yeah. Jones, Pulak, Tanev, uh, Subban. Murphy. I don't think I need this Murphy guy. Even though he jumped up and he's not a bad prospect to have for this year going forward. 70 overall. Uh, I know I, I signed him though. I'm just, he's another player that they want that is in the green. He's, he's got a green name and it's just, I'm just trying to think. Uh, or should I just give him Subban instead? Because Jordan Subban's only three and a half star. And he's an offensive defenseman. I already have Ryan Pui. You know what? I'll give him Jordan Subban. I don't need Jordan Subban. All right. Yeah, I don't need Jordan Subban here. Do, 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 do. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, that's way too much. No, it's not. Trust me. They still, I could still see that not going through. So these two picks, which I don't want to give up, but if I'm keeping the five, then I, that's not that bad, right? Because you're still getting those two in the first round, which you'd be expecting. Um, and then Kusino, which I don't need. Bieksa, which Philadelphia trade was nice, but this is better. And then Jordan Subban is the one player that I, yeah. It's Jordan Subban and these two picks that I don't want to give up here, but... You got Ryan Pulock, you got Seth Jones, you got Hamuse, you got Edler still. Um, when you trade away Hamuse and you trade away Edler, you can get those offensive defensemen or those young defensemen back that you need. Uh, we already have our young defensemen going forward. And that Connor Murphy guy is a four-star potential defenseman, and he's better than Jordan Subban already. So it'd be stupid to trade him away just for namesake. You know, he's a Subban. Oh, I can't trade him away. No, nah, we got to trade him away. All right, so I can still see this not going through, uh, but if it does, yeah, I think that's a good trade. I'm willing to do that for Connor McDavid. So basically, the way it looks, boys, is uh, the 20th overall pick, the 24th, Kusino, Bieksa, and Jordan Subban for Connor McDavid. Will it go through? No, see? I knew it. See what I mean, boys? We are not getting the Phoenix's first overall pick. All right, it's just, it's just way too much. It's just way too much. All right? I mean, is there anything else I could do? Hang on, let me just see. Um... It would have to be Tanev. It would have to be Gerby. It would have to be. It would have to be someone like that. You know, I'll try one more. I'll try Gerby in there. Yeah, I'll try Gerby in there. Now, hang on. Uh, Kusino. Yep. Hang on. Let me get back there to Phoenix. If this doesn't work. I'll just go with Jersey. All right. I would just go with Jersey. Uh, there you go. All right. You can take the 24th and the 20th. I know what you guys are saying? Use the fifth and move up. Oh, I want to use the fifth to get that sniper. Connor McDavid and the sniper, that'd be great. 
Um, okay, and who else was the other guy? It was one more guy. It was uh, Jordan Subban, but was there someone else ahead of him? Uh, Subban. Yeah, no, hang on, there was somebody else in there. Wasn't there before? Who was the other guy that was in there before? Kusno, Gerby. Um, hang on a second. I'm losing myself here. Tanev, Weiss, Booth. It was Bieksa. That's who it was. Yeah, Bieksa. Yeah, so I'll trade Bieksa instead of uh, Subban there. There you go. Uh, and it will still go through. Yeah, even though the salary cap is getting close now, it will still go through. So we're giving up Gerby, which is a little bit more of the trade value than uh, Jordan Subban. Okay, and that's pretty much the only, the only difference here. So Gerby, which is, he's a great player right now, right? We're giving up a player right now, but Connor McDavid is going to be better in the future. So that's the thing, right? And uh, they've really expressed that they want to keep this pick. You guys want me to get the first overall pick? This is what it's going to take. It's going to take an arm and a leg. The 24, the 20, Kusino, Bieksa, Gerby. All right, you're getting a winger, a defenseman, a goalie. They can all play right now in two depth picks for the first overall pick. Will it go through? No, all right? So it's not happening, boys. I'm sorry. Connor McDavid is does not look like he's becoming a part of the uh, Vancouver Canucks, all right? I'm sorry. You guys have seen everything that I can try. If I wanted to try more, all of a sudden you're starting to get into draft picks. I could move up maybe, but you know what? I don't want to move up. That's just too much for one player, all right? It's just too much for one player. It sometimes is not in the cards. And when I can go after the second overall pick, which is still a center playmaker, just not Connor McDavid, he's a Billy Mackey, a Finn, I'll take the Finn, all right? Definitely, I'll take the Finn. And I can keep all my debt picks here. I can trade away all my seconds, all right? So that way I keep my... Uh, uh, my two depths here, all right, and then trade away Bieksa. I think they wanted Bieksa. Do they want Bieksa? Yes, they do. They want Bieksa. There you go. And yeah, that should go through right there. That should go through right there. Is there anything else I can just add in just to sweeten it? Uh, Hosang, no. Carlson, no. Uh, Camby, it's gone. No, 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 no. I will just add in my uh, seventh just to add it in, all right? So Jersey, the second overall pick for three seconds, Kevin Bieksa, and a seventh. And the reason that this will go through is because they want to give it up, all right? And these all add up. So watch this. Will it go through? Yes, it does, all right? You can see the difference. Phoenix Coyotes just did not want to give up that first overall pick, boys. It was just not happening, all right? And uh, now we don't need to trade away the Sedin Twins. We got that first pick. We don't need to make anything more. We can make those trades or those uh, that pick. Oh, no, sorry, those trades in the offseason, all right, right before free agency. So the Phoenix Coyotes went with Connor McDavid. We knew that was going to happen, all right? You guys saw I tried, but if I was to give up any more, you're giving up so much. Now I can just go with Billy Mackey, and I still have the 20th and 24th overall pick, all right? I kept a lot. I think you guys will agree that that actually did work out. And you know what? After this, we can compare, we can, we can compare Mackey to Connor McDavid to see which one's better. All right, so Billy Mackey, welcome to the Vancouver Canucks. All right, they take uh, Pessin in and Upshaw, and then I have, ooh, I can take either Nikolai Ravenko, which is a defenseman, defensive defenseman, six foot nine, Jesus, or I can take uh, Raimo Tarki. Ooh, and he's from Finland too. You got the center uh, playmaker and Raimo Tarki, the uh, right right wing sniper from Finland as well. How can I not go with that? All right, Tarky and Matt, or uh, what was his name? Yeah, Mackie and Tarky. <laughs> Mackie and Tarky, baby. I like it. I like it. F fantastic Finn. Oh, my God. Injection into the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, Lucas Ulrich, uh, two-way forward. Yeah, I'll take some uh, depth with this. All right, I'll take a two-way forward depth player. All right, and I want potential. Foster, defensive defenseman. No, no, no. Let's just see all the uh, potential guys here. Uh, there's only three more. Peckham is a two-way forward left winger. And uh, Dominic Ruschinski is a center sniper. I don't need another sniper. I will take uh, Darren Peckham, another two-way forward. Yeah, I don't need another defenseman. Two-way forward, Peckham, baby. Get on the team. There you go. Uh, now, I traded away all my seconds. The thirds will be like three-star players, so I will just skip all that now, all right? So there you go. We did not get Connor McDavid. I know you guys really wanted me to get that. Uh, it was not going to happen. I could have maybe used our fifth overall pick, but in not taking that and not giving them everything i was able to get still another four and a half star potential center playmaker all right at second overall and by not moving up with number five i was able to take a right wing sniper that goes hand in hand with that center playmaker all right so hold your horses right here let's compare connor mcdavid to Billy Mackey, the newest addition or one of the newest additions to the vancouver canucks all right but going forward now how can you not be excited 
uh, as a Vancouver Canuck fan. You know the next five years, you know, it may be a little slow for the next like, five years, but after that five-year point from five to ten years, oh my God, you guys are going to be filthy. All right, so yes, let's check out these guys. Let's see what they look like. All right, uh, we will not do the uh, re-sign in this stage. Uh, you know what, actually, I will just do this quickly. Um, you know what, I'm not going to do this right now just because we may run out of time and I don't want to lose what we have. So we'll just quickly go through and see what the players that I drafted, see how good they are. We already know how good all these other players are. I already showed you. So let us just go with this. So uh, Ryan Motarki, remember how it said it was only three and a half stars? He's actually four star. He's already 66 overall at 18 years old. So he's already giving Nicholas Jensen a run for his money basically, all right? So a good little uh, right, right wing sniper to have have on your team there he'll definitely get better he'll be mid 70s by the time he's in his 20s so that's good he's definitely almost ready to go uh left wingers let's see here uh mantha and Druin. yep peckham there he is darren peckham 60 overall all right 19 years old three and a half star two way forward all right he is going to be ready a little bit quicker than say a uh, 50 something overall player maybe a little bit longer but still you're adding some depth there and centers this is the big one how good is Vili Mackey? He is, ooh, look at that. He's already 76 overall at 18 years old. This kid is good to go, yeah. So it's four and a half uh, yellow star potential. He's already listed as a depth forward. Look at that puck skills category. 85s everywhere. All right, offensive awareness is already 85. Uh, he's a decent face-off man at 69, so it's almost 70, so that's decent. Vili Mackey, not a, uh, not a bad uh, center to grab there. Absolutely, all right? And now you got Mackey and... And uh, Rymo, or no, no, Mackey and uh, who was it? I got to get those two names. Tarky. Yeah, yeah, Rymo was his first name. Mackey and Tarky on the same line, all right? That'd be great going forward. And I know you guys want to see this, so we will just check him out. How good was Connor McDavid? Let's see if it was worth trying to get that extra little bit to get Connor McDavid. Let's see. Connor McDavid. All right, so he's 76 overall as well, 18 years old. But he's not green star. He's only yellow star. So it's basically the same thing. His puck skills category is a little bit better, but Mackey's got the better face-offs and the better defensive categories, all right? So, I mean, Connor McDavid, you could say he's better, fine. But I think, you know, it wasn't worth the extra... Um, assets that I gave up. I think we got Mackey for a steal compared to McDavid, and because we didn't have to move up from number five, we got a, a four-star uh, right-wing sniper to go along with Mackey in the middle, all right? So we're going to end that right there, boys. How do you guys feel about the uh, the draft day with Vancouver? I actually really, really love those two additions to this team. And now going forward, look at all those four-and-a-half-star players that we have. Jones, Mantha, Druin, Pulock, Reinhardt, Mackey, four-star players, Tarky, Jensen, Ho Sang, Gauntz, Murphy, Cassian. All right, this team is looking great. And not to mention Clint, uh, Clint Windsor, who is 83 overall, ready to go in just a few years. All right, boys, so we're going to leave it right there. Let me know what you guys uh, want me to do during offseason. And uh, what should we do with the Sedin Twins? Should they stay or should they go? Should we give them a chance or should we play our rookies this year? All right, let me know and I will see you guys in the next video.